Hey y'all, so I just decided the other night, uh, instead of doing my homework, to sit down and record myself drawing something, because I'm watching Bailey J and all stars of these really awesome speed artists drawing these beautiful speed art videos, and it just fascinates me to no end, so I wanted to try my hand at them, and I think it turned out pretty well. I've I've never really used colored pencils for my drawings, such enough for people, I just don't use color really. <laughs> so that was an interesting journey, but I do have this colored pencil blender, so the colored pencils didn't go too badly, it worked out pretty well. Um, I'm not really sure where I intended to go with this. At the very beginning I wanted it to be some sort of singer, because I'd also been watching lots of singing people and beatboxing people, and they're also just fantastic and awesome. Um, but. It ended up looking sort of like a boy band character. <laughs> I guess I have this problem with idealizing all of the faces I draw, and apparently my idea of an idealized face is a sugar cookie white boy with souped white hair and a big chin. <laughs> so it ended up looking like a boy band character. That's the thing. But it was super fun, and I really want to do another one later. There was just, I think there was a lot of exploration going on for this one, because it was my first one and stuff. And at first, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to outline it with my uh, Sharpie fine, fine liner thingamajiggy uh, that I actually did end up doing it with. Um, I just, I wanted to do it with my brush pen for a little bit, but I'm so bad at it so far. It's it's just really hard to control. You can hardly use, tell you're using it. it you, it's, you can just get ink all over the place and... <laughs> It's, it's so cool, but it, at the same time, it's so hard to use. I did, end up, I did actually end up using it later. Um, it, get, it gives it like this comic book effect with the line variation, and I really do like it. Um, it's kind of a risky decision once, once you like your drawing so much just to splash on some ink. But I, it, you'll, you can decide for yourself if it turned out okay. You'll, you'll see it later. Skin is so hard to draw with colored pencils. The blending stuff is just so messed up and weird. It's I, I I'm so much more used to doing it with digital digital art. Uh, you can just blend digital stuff without any ado or no, there's no problem with the digital stuff. But you can't erase colored pencils. I tried using an erasable colored pencil and it, <laughs> they're so lame. I actually got the blender, the colored pencil blender that I'm using so much in this video, like half a year ago. I saw it in a store when I was shopping for a super fine tipped pen because I'm obsessed with those things. They're so amazing and I used to use them a lot for writing letters. Um, but I saw it when I was shopping. It's at Hobby Lobby. It's such a great store. You could just spend days in that thing. And I, it was, I just, I just, just looking around browsing and stuff and there was this cool little pen, colored pencil blender thing. I didn't even know you could blend colored pencils in the first place. Uh, so I obviously had to get it. Um, cause I do have a pretty nice amount of colored pencils just because when I was in fifth grade, um, my mom got me this 50 colored pencil set because I really like drawing with colored pencils back then. I don't usually use them anymore. Um, cause I'm not very much of a color person anymore. And, and by the time that I've actually, that I actually made this video, most of my color pencils had even disappeared because I was in fifth, fifth grade, which was like five or six years ago. But for some reason, I don't have a black colored pencil. I, I try, well, I do. It's an erasable kind though. So I try to use that. You'll see on my sticky note right there. I've got two different swatches of grays and one of those is what's supposed to be black. And one of those is a slate color from Crayola. <laughs> Um, which, which is just a normal dark gray. I put them together to see which one was darker, and it was actually the slate. So, <laughs> boo erasable colored pencils. They don't work. <laughs> They're just sad. Overall, I had a decent uh, selection thing, though. And I managed to use three different colors for the skin, if that gives you any idea of just how much of a selection I had. Um, not too huge, like you would if you had, like, Copic markers or whatever. Um, which is what Bailey J uses. Anyway, but not as much as if you had like a five set colored pencils, which is, I think is what most people probably have. Like maybe seven or 15, I don't know. 50 is definitely a lot bigger than 15 though. Uh, so I just started with a brush pen. It actually didn't turn out near as bad as I was afraid it would. I really do like how it turned out. And it probably helps that I colored in the mo microphone, uh, most of it, with my brush pen just for practice. So it got me used to, well, cause I hadn't used my brush pen for months 
because I it ran out of ink and I completely forgot where I put my refill. Turns out it was in my little coin purse that I hadn't used for that long because I never bought stuff that I needed coins. But I started going to a driver's ed class so and it's got a vending machine. So one time I was looking for coins and pulled an inkwell thing instead, which was really random, but I was so excited to be able to use my ink pen again. And there's the final product.